I'm Andy Singer. I'm visiting Brazil. It's warm here, that's really nice. I just came from some place where it was like uh, minus five degrees. Hello, Bahia! Brazil! I'm in a taxi right now because all of the bike stations didn't work. We went to three different bike stations and each one had a problem with it. If the first bike was working, we would be home by now. Yeah, we could walk. We're losers. Oh my god. Andar com fé eu vou, porque a fé não costuma apanhar. Andar com fé eu vou, porque a fé não costuma apanhar. These things to warn pedestrians about the cars, and instead of warning the cars about the pedestrians, and in Minnesota, instead of, we have the lights, but we also have a voice that comes on and goes, Car approaching, car approaching. Andar com fé eu vou, porque a fé não costuma apanhar. Car approaching, Andar car approaching. Car approaching. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, the big bike helmet. Like, if you want to be really safe on your bike, my niece, uh, she doesn't like to wear a helmet when she bikes because I think it messes with her hair or she doesn't have a comfortable helmet or something. So, but I'm like, okay, I'd rather she bike than not bike. And that's my feeling. Uh, but I wear one, and that's a personal choice. I, I think it's a dumb. In the bicycling community in the United States, and I guess here too, everywhere, people argue about this, and I'm like, don't argue about it. Just do what you want to do. I don't think I have this one in the sketchbook. I think I sketched it on a separate piece of paper, but it was about how terrorists are using cars to kill people. You know, so in Nice, in France, um, you know, the terrorists drove a truck through people, uh -huh. you know, Charlottesville. And then the last frame is about how pedestrians every day, everywhere, get hit by cars. A friend of mine made a bicycle meeting bingo card. And so when people say things at the public meeting that are anti-bike, very stereotypically anti-bike, you check off your box on the bingo card. So for example, if they say, oh, bicyclists, they always go through stop signs, check that off. Um, if they say, oh, bicyclists, they don't pay taxes, you check that off, you know. And eventually you're like, bingo, you know, because you've gotten four in a row. What, that I need a toy car at two in the morning? There is, oh my god, there's a toy car, I'm all set. Uh, Sao Paulo is a city of really good street art. You know, that every inch of the city has great murals and graffiti art and uh, what in the States we call slaps, which are those uh, little stickers, you know, that people put on everything. And I like how all of the various organizations, whether it's bicycle organizations or uh, labor organizations, they give you stickers. <laughs> Helmets are nice because you can put stickers on them. I like the, the bicycle community in Sao Paulo. Um, I, and some of the people I've met here are really nice too. I met lots of very smart, very committed people. And I've actually, I didn't expect to come here and be inspired, but I came here and I'm more inspired to go back to the States and try to make things better. Because people work very hard. Se eles têm três carros, eu posso voar. Quando a gente fala de solidão de uma mulher negra, não entendam que a gente está precisando de um companheiro. Não, a gente está precisando de políticas que nos assistam. In the United States, a young, long-haired white man smoking marijuana is seen as a hippie. But a, long, a young, long-haired black man doing the exact same thing is seen uh, um, by some people as a criminal. And also people here, 
more than the states are willing to go out in the street and protest. But here, I mean, you, we got like 500 to 1,000 people for a naked bike ride. That's great. I like um, Brazilian engineers' willingness to improvise. So like the bike lanes in Sao Paulo, they wouldn't meet some of the standards. That the engineers in the United States are very rigid. So they insist that, oh, we have to have, you know, six feet for a bike lane or something. And I like the fact that they were able to put all these bike lanes on medians on the street. And they were just like, ah, oh, we'll make something, you know. I, I like that in Brazil, you leave the trees in the street, and on bike lanes, even in Sao Paulo, they'll leave the street, the, the bike lane will go around the tree, and it's good because it, it gives you shade, you know, when you're biking. I, I also like the fact that when you meet with people here, it's like a circle of people and everybody talks. You know, it's not just like me talking to them or them talking to me, it's everybody talks and like brings up issues or... I don't know, it's nice. It's more interactive. The classic question which you get a lot is like, you know, I don't see how you can get rid of all cars. How could we get rid of all cars, you know? A uh, human being survived for like 20,000 years without cars. Cars have only been around for about 100 years. And we have built a lot of spaces now that can only be negotiated by car, but the challenge is to try to infill those spaces or change them so that they can be walking, biking, public transportation spaces. and. Um, gradually get rid of cars, you know, like if you're on a diet and you're, you know, super gordo and you want to get, you know, you got to like get rid of a little bit at a time. My things were to focus on stopping building new highways, no more new highways, and then better land use. So um, making restrictions to developers that they can only build certain kinds of development that's more walkable, bikeable, transit friendly. I, I think looking at photographs or thinking about how cities were before cars is very helpful. I'd like to say thank you to Autonomia Literaria for publishing the Portuguese edition of Cartoons and I would like to thank the Rosa Luxemburg Foundation for bringing me to Brazil, to Sao Paulo and Salvador. It's been really inspiring and wonderful to meet people who are involved in bicycle activism in Brazil. And I go back to the United States with a lot of hope that we're gonna make things better. And a lot of ideas um, that I can bring back to my city about how they could do things better. And uh, thank you very much, I really appreciate it. I'm free to do what I want. Uh, I used to live in California, uh, next to this freeway interchange. I met my wife there, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old, but the, the good part of being old is you get to see things change. Um, and some good things change, you know, I mean, like, uh, there's so much more bicycle infrastructure in cities all over the world. I'm free to sing my song. Eu dormi ontem com frio na barriga e falei, o que que vai ser? Eu me tranquilizei e falei, não, vai ser o único ataque, né, dos meus amigos. 
Toma cerveja e tá tudo certo. Even though it's out of time. So love me, hold me, love me, hold me. I'm free. I'm tired. I'm on vacation. Thank you, Brazil. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm free to choose what I please